So, and now we write down the sum of these mean terms. Uh, a, B negated C, this one, plus A, B negated C, plus A, B, C negated, this one, and this one. So, and let's simplify that, also in order to practice, because we see it's, it's uh, uh, much more complicated than the initial one, and uh, there is a room to simplify that. So let's, uh, what can we do that? I see we have a lot of A's. We have A here, and here, and here. And let's take it the A out of brackets. We leave this term here. And we take A out of brackets. In brackets we have B negated C negated plus B negated C plus B C negated. Yeah, lots of space for simplification. We rewrite this down, and in brackets we can take B negated out of brackets. Let's do that. B negated in brackets we have C negated plus C plus BC negated. And we already know and recognize that this one is always 1 from our previous videos. So let's rewrite this down. A negated B C negated plus A in brackets B negated plus B C negated. Okay, what can we do that? I think here we can apply one of our, our last handy rule. You remember this one was A plus A negated B always equal A B. So I will write uh, it down here. A plus A negated B equals a plus b our rule so and we actually can apply that because we have exactly the same case here it just uh, a bit flipped around so uh, we can imagine that this one is a for this formula and this one is then a negated then c negated will be actually b and if you want to apply this rule the result should be a plus b that is, in this case, B negated plus uh, C negated. Yeah, let's let's uh, write it down. So we still have A negated B C negated plus A, and in brackets we have uh, uh, B negated plus C negated. Yeah, now now let's let's open the brackets. So we have A B negated plus uh, sorry plus A C negated. So what can we do next? Uh, we have uh, A negated, not negated here. B B negated. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can take C negated out of brackets. Mm -hmm. And what we have? Now let's try taking C out of brackets. C negated, this one and this one. And the whole thing will be C negated in brackets. This one, A negated B plus, and here we have A, and plus our A, B negated. So we can again apply our handy rule, our last one that says A plus A negated B equals A plus B. Uh, yeah, in this case it's exactly the same one, so we can write further C negated multiplied by uh, A plus B plus A B negated. Yeah, let's go further. And we have, uh, let's open the brackets, C negated A plus C negated B 
plus a b negated. So what can we do now? Take b now, take a to brackets. We get nothing. What can we do? What can we do here? C negate now. Okay. I'm actually uh, I'm a bit stuck. I'm not sure uh, what to do next. If we can take C negated because we just we just did the opposite, we can take A, but in in brackets we will have C negated plus B negated. This doesn't give us anything. Then we can take B. No, we don't. We can't do that. I actually actually starting to think that we uh, went through a wrong path here, uh, and we should have done something else during this uh, simplification. So we went the wrong way. So what can we do? Yeah. Because uh, we we know we know that uh, we should get in the end this expression, and uh, more or less we practice uh, uh, first creating table of expression and then uh, from truth table uh, get the expression back in order to practice as I said before a million times. But also it's very useful that uh, you can see actually if it's uh, if it's the simplest uh, uh, result you obtained. Or not, because you, if you had just a truth table, and you practice on truth table, and you went to some, and you received some statement like that, you may say, ah, yeah, that's the simplest one. But no, no, no. Actually, it's not the simplest one. It's even the wrong path. And we we know that we could simplify that uh, more. And maybe I had a mistake somewhere. But no, I I don't think so. I think I just have followed a wrong path. And let's let's. What can we do here? What could we have done here? Let's uh, let's try it again. I have some other ideas. Let's just erase all these guys. You see, we can here we can take. Uh, let's say a b negated out of brackets and then we will have c plus c negated plus c so you will see uh, so we start we take out a b negated out of the brackets and in brackets we have c negated plus c yeah which is one uh, and here we can what can we do no no not equal not equal sign plus uh, we can take B out of brackets, this one and this one. And inside brackets we have A negated, C negated, plus A, C negated. Yeah, that looks like a right way. So we have A, B negated, and this guy is just one, plus B, and let's take C out of brackets. Uh, like this, yeah, just to make it uh, to be sure that we don't make any mistakes. And inside brackets, we have uh, a negated plus a, yeah, and we know that this one is one, so we rewrite the whole thing a, b negated. Yeah, I like this path much more. Uh, and here we have b, c negated, woohoo! Yes. We've done that. That's that's the initial. Uh, that's our initial statement, and we have simplified that as long as possible, as as far as possible, and we got the same statement. And that's uh, how we checked that, and that actually was a very good example. Uh, we went to the wrong path, and we actually we don't uh, we, we don't like to do that. And uh, the, the, the worst thing possible could happen is that you follow the wrong path and you get some result and, uh, and you don't know if it's the simplest result possible 
or you could might could have followed another path where the result could be even simpler and that's a very very important issue and it's ex uh, in in the next videos i will show you how to simplify expressions like like this one so that you will be always 100% sure that you will get uh, the easiest, the most simplified result possible. And this method is called Carnot Maps. And you will see that uh, in the next video.